Hello, 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 internet. Now, in this video, uh, we're going to do some web scraping with Selenium, with Java, and Spring Boot. Now, this is a specific tutorial. Someone's requested a specific website that they wanted to scrape, they didn't know how to scrape it. So, we're going to do that in this video. Um, and to get started, you're going to want to download the uh, zip file in the description and you'll have everything that I have. So this is a Spring Boot application at the moment. We're going to add some dependencies and we're going to do some Spring Boot coding. You don't have to use Spring Boot, uh, but if you do want to follow along with this tutorial, then it'll make it much easier for you. Um, so let's have a brief goosey goosey gander at the stuff we're going to be scraping. So this is this website here. So it's called Related Words. And if I was to type in hello, what it does is it gives us a whole series of related words. Now, the reason we're using Selenium to scrape this, and the reason if you've seen my other tutorials on web scraping with Java, you might not be able to scrape it, uh, is because you saw when I typed in hello, all the words show up from somewhere. The page didn't reload, it just brought up these things. The reason for this is that this is using JavaScript to load all these things, these words, once the page uh, has been loaded and it's going to populate afterwards. Now, normal web scraping will just basically pull down the HTML and then read the HTML. In this case, the HTML has nothing in it until the JavaScript is executed. So we need to actually execute the JavaScript. In order to execute the JavaScript, we need to have a web browser that's going to execute the JavaScript. So we're going to use Selenium to actually run our own Chrome instance, and we're going to be using Chrome for this, um, to actually get all the items of interest from this page. Now you can use this for other websites that load uh, content dynamically, so this is going to be quite useful, but this is a very specific tutorial to a specific website because someone requested it. So let's get started. First thing we need to do, go to the link in the description and go to the Maven repository. You're going to want to download Selenium Java. Now I'm going to want to download the latest non-alpha release, which is this one, 3.1.1.51. Uh, Get this text here come over to our uh, in, you know, IntelliJ and we're going to add in the dependencies section of the POM this thing here. Uh, what you might have to do is you might have to let Maven refresh so that it actually pulls things in. It, your, yours might start off red, so you might have to uh, let Maven refresh to do that. Um, but that's the only dependency we actually need for this project. Uh, what do we need next? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a, a configuration file that's going to define our Chrome driver window and we're going to have a service which is going to do our web scraping for us. Now, like I say, if you're not using Spring Boot, you don't necessarily need to use a configuration file and I'll indicate what you can do in the place of it, but let's get started with our uh, Selenium configuration. So what we're going to do here is we're basically just going to define the web driver that we can use throughout the application. And I've made a package. I've already gone wrong. Christ. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's try and make this better. If he can type, but nothing's working. Okay, there we go. Cool. Mm, yeah, configuration. Configuration, new Java class. We'll call this Selenium configuration. Yeah, we'll add that to Git, or maybe not. I don't care. And we'll say configuration. And then um, what we're going to define is we need to define what's known as a bean. Oh, oh, I've just realized we've got to do something as well before we even do this. Uh, but we're going to do this first, and I'll explain what we need to actually do. So public uh, Chrome driver. So what a bean is, is basically a bean's an object that's going to be handled for us by Spring. Um, so we're going to give this um, a... We're going to basically create an instance of a Chrome driver that we're going to keep, and we could just inject it anywhere we like as opposed to having to create one all the time. Uh, yeah, I need to refresh my Maven. That's a bit daft. I might have to come out of uh, this view mode a second because I can't get to the thing because there's no shortcut for it. This little refresh button here will refresh your thing and it will allow us to actually get the Chrome driver. There you go, it's come back. And we'll go back into uh, presentation mode. Okay, so now I've got the Chrome driver. I need to say return new. Now, there is something we need to do here, is that I need to, uh, once this file has been constructed, I need to have a post construct. So I'll do avoid post construct. And what we need to do is we need to say system set property. 
um, web driver dot chrome dot driver now if you were using say the firefox driver you would just have to swap that for firefox there um, and then we need to point it to where we've saved chrome driver now we haven't downloaded chrome driver in this tutorial yet because i've neglected to do this because i completely forgot but uh the one i've got saved is in users shane uh, bin chrome driver and let's just go over what you need to actually do for this so um to get this to work uh you're going to need to go to another link in the description, which will be this downloads Chrome driver. Now, you're gonna to want to figure out what your version of Chrome is. For me, I'm currently on version 85, which means I need to download Chrome driver 85. The version I have has to match the version of Chrome I have, slightly different thing. Then you're gonna to wanna to pick your system. So in the case of this, I'm gonna be picking a Mac. So you download the Mac one, unzip that, and then stick the, the file that's inside there in whatever folder you like, wherever you like, it's totally fine, as long as you can reference it from your project like this. Okay, uh, that's all gravy. Uh, let's move along now and uh, we will start creating our service that's gonna do the extra cheeky scraping. So we'll create a package, we'll call it service. I don't know why, oh, why did I call it, oh, I've blooming done that wrong as well. That shouldn't be a capital. You don't need capitals in your packages. There we go, refactor that, and that maybe should stop moaning. Yeah, it has stopped moaning, cool. Uh, let's go new driver class, and we'll call it, what shall, we, what shall we call it? We should call it scraper service, something like that. Yeah, we'll call it Mr. Scraper service, and why is that stop not typing? Try again. Second time's a charm, that's what they say, I think. Scraper service. Cool, add that to thing. What we want to do is annotate this as a service if you're using Spring Boot. Obviously, if you're not using Spring Boot, you don't have to do that. Uh, there's another thing as well. I'm going to use an all arguments constructor for this one. This is using Lombok, which is a dependency which I've included in the file you down the zip file you downloaded, so you don't have to worry about adding that. Lombok is a really awesome thing, so I don't know. It, it basically gets rid of a load of the boilerplate boilerplate code that you're going to use um, with uh, Java. So we don't actually have to define a constructor. Lombok does that for us. The next thing I want to do is uh, define the URL. So in this case, I'm going to have just have it as a static final string. So final string URL. This will be the base URL. So this will be, uh, I think it's HTTPS related words.org forward slash related to forward slash now i'm not going to put the word that's related to here because we can just do that dynamically so um we then need to get our chrome driver so here we can do final chrome driver uh we need to call it driver so we need to call it whatever i've called it in the configuration which i think i called it driver i called it driver so we need to call it that right it's moaning because it thinks it, it hasn't been instantiated because it's final, but this all arguments constructor will do that for us. I just haven't got the annotation processing set up, so ignore that little red line. I know what I'm doing here. Um, now, this is where, if let's say you were not using Spring Boot, you might want to just actually create this Chrome driver in the constructor. So you would do um, public uh, scraper service. You would say final Chrome driver and you would do something like driver driver or perhaps you wouldn't pass it in here you'd have a no arguments constructor and you would just you know go rogue and create it afterwards or maybe you just create it as a static variable i.e you would just create it like this you could totally do that if you wanted to or you could do it in your method wherever you want to do it i probably don't do it in your method actually um, but I don't need this because I've got the all arguments constructor and we're going to be injecting it using that bean that we defined in our configuration file. So let us next uh, create the method that we're going to use to scrape stuff. So to do that, public void scrape. And we'll pass in final string. We'll give it the value. The value will be the word we want to actually scrape. We'll do driver get and then pass in the URL added on to the value so that value is going to be you know whatever word we're looking to scrape then we need to actually start getting the values so if we look at the website that we want to scrape this one and we do a uh, command alt j if you're on uh, 
the old crow if you're on a Mac. I think it's F12 if you're on Windows. Select one of the elements, look at this. So these, these elements here, they're links. So they're A links within a div. And I don't know if I can make that bigger for you because I've just realized you might not be able to see that. But yeah, we've got this, we've got this uh, div called words. The class is words. Then we've got a whole series of links. Um, so all we need to do is get the, the div class words and then we've got all the links within that div class and we can just go through all that and get all the text from there. So we'll do that now. Uh, we need to say final web element. So web element is what we're going to get from uh, Selenium. We're going to use the find element uh, by find element by class name method to get this. So we can say words um, will be called. Uh, what do we need to do? We need a driver find element by class name that one there, and then pass in the class name which is words. Then we need to go through. So we need to create a list of web elements. So those web elements are going to be the links. So we're going to go through these this words that we've got here, this list of word, uh, this div of words, sorry. And from that, we're going to get our actual words of interest. So we'll call it, I don't know, word list or something like this. Terrible variable naming here, but we'll do words, find elements. Then we can do, uh, we can use something called by and then we want to use just by tag name and pass in the tag. The tag in this case is A for links. Once we've done that, it's a simple case of just doing word list for each and then for each word, we'll do a little lambda, we'll do a system. Whoa, that's not what I want. That is not what I want. System out print line and we'll do word. And then this word is an element, it's web elements. Uh, if we click get text, we will get the actual text that's inside the link, which will be the word we want. Finally, we want to call driver.quit. Well, maybe we don't want to call driver.quit in this method, but you know it's good practice to make sure you actually close out of the Chrome driver. So uh, the final thing we need to do here is actually invoke this method. Now, I think the quickest way of doing this in this particular example is just to do another post construct, do void post construct. This might not be the best practice to do this, but for this example, who cares? We'll do scrape and we will scrape the value. I don't know, fish sticks. I don't even know if anything's going to come up for this, but we'll try. We'll see what happens. What we're going to do now, uh, we'll run this. And what we're going to see is happening uh, down here. You can see it's processing the job, it's doing all the compiling. And oh, look at this. Spring Boot's running. It's going through here. Chrome driver is executed. Did you see that then? What happened then is that it just opened a Chrome window for us. And look here, look at this. We've got many, many things, words that are related to fish sticks. So that's cool. Um, but let's just really quickly, um, I'm going to I'm gonna run this again. I'm going to run it in debug mode. If it will run it in debug mode. Yeah, it's going to run it in debug mode. Um, it's going to stop at this point here. And what you'll see is we've got down here, we've got two instances of Chrome running. And this one here, is the one that's being controlled by automated test software and it's entered into us you know fish sticks for us and it's actually loaded all the images but let's say for example you're like this is a real drag i don't want to load this this separate instance of chrome to actually show me what's happening uh you can run chrome uh you can run selenium sorry in something called a uh, headless mode now in order to do that what we can do is we can go back to our configuration or wherever you have instantiated the Chrome driver and we can do some other stuff. Um, we can add some arguments, so we can do this. So one of the arguments you can pass to Chrome driver or is the uh, Chrome options. So we can do final Chrome options, Chrome options, and then this will be equal to new Chrome options. And then it uses these methods so add arguments and we can add an argument and the argument we, we, we want to add here is headless and if we pass that to uh, pass our chrome options now to the chrome driver when we run our file again what we're going to see is we won't see anything flash up we won't see chrome flash up anymore because it'll be running basically in the background but it will actually be invoking Chrome like a normal website anyway. So um, that, if I have ran it correctly, yeah, it's doing some stuff, it's gonna run some stuff. It's running it now, you'll notice that Chrome doesn't actually flash up. 
it just outputs all of the things we want to output there. So you've got all the list of words that we wanted to output. Okay, that's about all I want to cover in this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. Um, yep, I think that's everything. Arrivederci, au revoir, guten tag, tata for now. <laughs>